Hello everybody, so this is an Amazon web scraper using Scrapy. I'm also using pipelines and an SQLite database. So if that's of interest, keep watching. Okay, so we are about to run the spider. So I'm going to run it and then I will just let you watch and see what happens. So I'm going to run it with Scrapey Crawl Amazon Spider. And you can see three quarters of the way down, you can see amz.pipelines. So we use, and it also says enabled item pipelines. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you won't have seen that before. And the output's fairly fast, but if you can see, every so often there are items with just none by the side of them. And those are items in the Amazon books that are not paperback. How did I do that? Well, that's all part of pipelines, which I will show you after this spider has completed. There are approximately, approximately 200 results for this. Some of them aren't actually relevant. Some are hmm, mugs with the word scrape in the title. So yeah, Amazon's um, search, it's maybe a bit greedy on, on, on keywords, so. I've got it set very slow at the moment. It's, I think download delay is set to 10 seconds and um, I didn't want to get banned and I didn't want to uh, do anything naughty. So there we go. This is probably, uh, I think it's probably over halfway through. And once I've shown you the uh, how many results we've got, we will then go and look at the database. The database is SQLite 3, which comes as standard with Linux and also, I believe, Mac OS X. Uh, you've probably got to install it on Windows. I d yeah, well, you certainly have. Um, yeah, lots of nuns. That's because we're getting into the sort of the, the random got scrape question mark ceramic white coffee mug hmm so there we go warning dropped not a paperback book warning dropped not a paperback book that um warning message that is what i've put in in the pipelines uh pipelines.py so any of you who've only ever previously used a spider.py and settings.py and maybe items.py. This effectively is a fourth file that you need to edit and use. So the fourth file is pipelines.py. Here we go. We've got, um, oh, so it's dropped 88 items. Now you probably, if you've not used pipelines before, you probably won't have seen this. So this is, something to uh, take note of. Items grapes count 106, dropped 88. So yeah, that's virtually your 200, isn't it? I thought it was around about 200. Obviously, each day it may vary depending if Amazon add or remove a certain item. Um, but I mean, yeah, there we go. Look, I mean, why does Amazon find a taxidermy coffee mug? I've no idea how that gets found on a, a search for web scraping books. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that that's what the search was. And that was my start URL as well. So uh, yeah, I'll just show you that. Um, yeah, start URL, web plus scraping plus books. Okay, so we're going to web scrape Amazon for web scraping books. Now, the initial code is in my previous video. You can go on GitHub and find it also. Link at the end. So we're going to modify the spider slightly. A couple of lines in settings.py. 
and mainly we're going to be editing or creating code in pipelines.py so if you want to pause that you're welcome to just remember if you're using items in uh, your spider just remember to use equals rather than the colons if you have previously been using a dictionary um, yeah you can run it with crawler process uh, but it takes a bit more modification so I just stick with scrapey crawl if you get success you'll see pipelines uh, appear on the screen when you're crawling so SQL light 3 init method that's the constructor which creates the connection and also creates a table and if it doesn't already exist it will create your database your database can be called whatever you like I've called mine test.db and then you create your cursor the cursor is what you can see here doing the execute it executes the queries so you use self because it's uh, it's within a class self.store underscore db this is prior to me adding the code for um, filtering out paperbacks so we're inserting the values you can add many more as many as you want the question marks um, that's hmm, it's not the best way of doing it but it works you can use uh, percentage s and then you can supply arguments import SQL Lite 3 this is for the viewing the database which is my view underscore database dot py and you should see this when you run it you should see uh, just text on the screen you can get a database viewer um, there's various ones out there so what next process item this is where we add the code to filter out the paperbacks only and <laughs> this all depends on what Amazon uh, have called their books. For instance, if they they could put on a cement mixer, but if they call it a paperback, it will still get it will still get found as a paperback. So, scrapey documentation, very good. This is what I uh, use for my code, and I just modified a couple of lines, which you will see if you compare that against my code. And um, yeah, warning dropped, not a paperback, but that's you'll see that that was inside my code inside the print statement um, you could also what could, else could you do you could search for just a paperback book or just a hardback book and then filter out if you don't want to find any Kindle books um, the world's your oyster really you, you can filter in whatever you want just remember to return item afterwards if you don't have return item then <laughs> you just get a whole page full of none and if you get none 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 then you get nothing in your database and as you saw previously in the uh, in the earlier video or my last video I was getting 100 in I think 189 items and obviously some of those were complete gobbledygook I think that, that like for instance that one on um, <laughs> taxidermy or something what is, <laughs> that is not a web scraping book so by using um, process underscore item which is as you've previously seen a built-in scrapey method you can filter out the results that you don't need and you they never actually reach the database which is good you don't want to be scraping a million results and then half a million of them being rubbish um, so it's yeah it's always better to filter them uh before they end up in a database um, and even if you're using a CSV then the same would apply filter before you save it so I hope this has been interesting and if you've got any comments let me know if you'd like me to do this same kind of video but based on MySQL I can do that as well and um, yeah happy web scraping and I will be back soon with something else until next time bye